while we're playing some of the comments from the last 24 hours, how about this one? Because we promised it to you. Bob Myers on Steiny and Goo today. There have been the questions for weeks, for months. Hey, Bob, what about the future? What about Bob? Um, it's a three. What about the future? Why don't you have a contract? What's the plan? Well, it was asked in a little bit of a different way by Steiny today. A little bit of a follow-up to the question which is forget about what's going to happen. Bob, let's just talk about you. Have you decided what you want to do? I would say I don't know. Okay. Um, because I don't need to know. I mean, it, I, somebody smart a long time ago gave me advice, and it's kind of hard to follow, but don't make a decision until you have to. Mm-hmm. We, we often don't do that. Um, I, I often don't do that, but I've tried to do that. It's good advice, honestly, when you... Make any decision. When you two make a decision, when I make a decision, there's a time when you have to make it. You make it. But let let whatever you feel have its opportunity to move you in directions. That's that's how I try to look at it. I thought this was a really interesting answer because for the first time in about two or three months, we potentially might have gotten some information because we've been sitting here going, does Joe Lacob not want him back? Did, has he even given him an offer? Is this about money? Does Bob want to go? Does Joe want one of his kids to take over? All the speculation. Bob at least made it sound like right there that it's his decision. Because he said, I haven't made the decision yet. And you don't make a decision until you have to make a decision. Right. And that's true. Yeah. That's true. But, but, But what's interesting there to me at least is that this is the first time that he's making it sound like it's his call. We didn't know that. We right. don't know whose call it is. And I'm glad you broke it down that way because I heard this. Uh, I was at the car wash, which is where I did our uh, daily delivery video on Twitter. Out of bed. In the car wash. Uh, I was doing it during the uh, the rinse cycle. Did you sing at the car wash? No, I was listening oh, okay. to the Bob Myers interview, okay. and then I was doing our video daily delivery. And as I was listening to Bob, I didn't pick up on exactly what you're saying, and I think you are spot on. I actually did text Steiny and said... Great follow-up, because it was a great follow-up question, because he first asked Bob about his status, and Bob danced around mm-hmm. a little bit, and then Steiny hit him with the follow-up, and that's when Bob said, you don't make a decision until you have to make a decision. Basically, and what you just broke down, I think, is right. He has the decision to make, which is, do I stay or do I go now? Or I don't think it's as much like, will Joe offer me a contract or, or anything other than Bob doesn't know if he wants to keep doing this. Well, and as a Warrior fan, all I can say is if that is the case, if that got conveyed correctly today, that's comforting to me. Yeah. It's Agreed. comforting to me that it's on Bob and not that the Warriors are playing games with Bob. Steve Kerr already said earlier this year that he'd be devastated if Bob Myers leaves. And now that makes a little bit more sense because would Steve Kerr publicly say, I'm going to be devastated if my bosses decide not to bring Bob back, like that's not a good sound for you to, I mean, to, to say that you're disagreeing with what the organization is doing. Essentially what they're saying is Bob may want to do something else. Bob might be tired, Bob, whatever this is on Bob. And we'd be devastated if he leaves because we love Bob. But if that's what he wants to do, at least it was, it was on him. And, and, And he was the one who was able to sort of, Create his path. Right. So that would, I think, mitigate some of the pain in terms of Steve Kerr. And even, you know, if Bob decides at the end of it, you know, guys, I just I want to take a year. I want to take some time and just do something else. And then I think Steve Kerr could rightly feel better about it as opposed to if the Warriors went in another direction and Bob felt like it wasn't his decision. So the answer he gave, and I'm glad you broke it down, Mark, because you're right. It seems like. It's Bob's decision to make. So let's take it one step further and think about it in terms of Draymond Green because there's no bigger fan of Bob Myers than Draymond Green. So if Bob Myers has a decision to make and you don't make a decision until you have to make a decision, if he decides at the end of this run that, you know what, I do want to come back. I want to keep doing this. Maybe that influences Draymond Green to want to keep doing this. And I think the opposite, though, is equally true. If Bob decides... You know, guys, I don't want to do this anymore right now. How does that affect Draymond Green's desire to keep doing this? Well, and maybe last night's game factored into the decision because listen to what Bob said with regard to how he would be feeling if the Warriors had lost last night. What I thought last night going in, Guru, was 
if we can't, if we go down four one, then we're just we're not very good. I mean, I, as harsh as that is of of a conclusion, if you lose four one in the series, you got beat. You got beat pretty bad. You you barely avoided being swept. So my thinking was, we, we I was confident we would win because our guys have proven they they respond with their backs up against the wall. But I also had a feeling of if we don't, that's that kind of gives you your answer, and and that's how I looked at it. But I, I had a good feeling we would we would win the game. Yeah, we we had the same conversation yesterday. Where I was like, if the Warriors don't win this one, then th- this was not what it was cracked up to be uh, by, by by any stretch. Right. Um, you if know. you go down four one, then. You can't rightly say we were this shot or this play away. You got beat. You, you got beat close. down. And you're right, Mark, in terms of the future. You can't look at it after losing 4 1 and say, let's run it back because you weren't really that close. Right. You got seven playoff wins, and that would be uh, seven playoff losses. Right. <laughs> right. Which is what you did in the regular year, basically. You were a 500 kind of club all year. And then now you're a 500 club in the postseason. Yeah, the Warriors are six and six right now in the playoffs. They're six and six right now. Yeah, so, wow. Um, that's it. They're Coming off a six. year where they go 44 and 38, so they're mm-hmm. 50 and 44 in their last 94. That's not elite. No, no. And Mediocre. That's, I mean, but tomorrow night you lose that one. I'm not going to say that's okay and that's good and whatnot, but that's different. It's different than if you had lost it in five games on your home floor. 